Hi friends, welcome back to my crafty desk. Sandra here at Blossom and Inspire. Today we are going to continue on the journey of the junk mail makeover. <laughs> um, this is just one of those things that I just love kind of moving around on and I put it back and forth. And so here we are back with it. So let's see where we are. I did some things off camera. This is the one that we um, did together with these pages and I do like them. So it's very messy. I need to do some inking and I haven't done the cover yet. This, the second booklet, I have it all put together. I, again, haven't done the cover part of it, but what I did with this one is I went ahead and took some of the, those advices <laughs> and I glue, I put glue, I just went ahead and did my glue stick over the entire spread and then I took a piece of paper and just dropped it down. Then I, after that, I just tore around all the edges as close as I could. So this one doesn't have the, you know, the flip out pages like this one, like that, okay? So we'll have two different booklets. When I was tearing them, I was just like getting as close as I could and just tearing them down. So let's see, let me find a page here that shows you something I'm gonna point out. So I had a lot of that, which, is fine. It, it didn't bother me until I got so much of it and I didn't know how to cover it. So I took another piece of this amazing paper pad this uh, that I had copy dyed and I just tore it into strips uh, using my tear, different tear rulers so that I can get that rough edge. And I decided to go ahead and just do a stitch down them. So I just ran them through the sewing machine, you know, like in pieces, um, like I did this one, this one I did it under ruffle and I just kept feeding it through and I just have a long strip here. I there's, They're not connected and that's fine because I wanted to break them apart for this project. I did the same thing with these and then I just laid them down, cut them off, and then on some of the pieces, I was able to flip them around so I have these little fun little pieces here. I thought they have the stitches on them and I can use these someplace else. But for now, we'll just set them aside. But aren't they cute? Aren't they so cute? Okay, and they're tangled, but yeah. Moving on. <laughs> so I went through the whole book on this one and I laid these down on the sides. So this one is probably just gonna have like some cute little pockets and tucks throughout. Um, right now I'm just inking just the sides here and I thought I would just do a little crafty, a craft and chat, ha craft and chat. Yeah, it's not really a hangout because we're not live, but just to do that on the edges. I haven't committed to what I'm gonna do here, so I haven't inked it. I may ink them later, but for today, I can't um, figure out which way I'm going with this thing. Whoops, but for today at this very moment anyways, I'm not doing that. I just wanted to get these edges, just to give me an idea. I'm using my Distress Oxide on Ground Espresso for anybody that would like to know. And let's see, did I get them all? Nope, I was going the wrong way. All right, well, oh my gosh, my friends, I am so uh, tired this morning, but I but I don't think I'm sleeping that well because I've had so many things to, that on my to-do list. But at the same time, I'm in that spot where like I'm really tired, but I just want to craft. Do you ever get like that? But I don't really know what I want to do. So good thing I have you know, 5 million different projects that aren't finished so I can have something to choose from. <laughs> okay, I think I have them all now. There, just the edges. All right, I'm gonna close that up for right now. And um, then I'm, so I took another one of those pages and then I just made these paper ruffles. I have one right here cut apart. And I was, I was thinking about, which I was thinking about putting them I was gonna go on all the pages, but then I realized that's gonna get really puffy really fast and I still want it to fit inside my envelope. I also decided at this time not to sew the edges of my envelope. I don't know that I need to, to be perfectly honest, but I do need to address my little seams here. My little seams. I also found a whole bunch more junk mail and I was like, oh, I wanna play with that too, but I probably should just finish one thing first. I mean, wouldn't that be something? Could you imagine me finishing something? So let's move this one over here to the side. This we know is just gonna be like this. And I don't know, like, do I care about that blue? I don't think I do. 
I might actually use these for something else. Let me move these so I could quit trying to force myself to use something that I'm not, I'm just not feeling it. I have um, some little scraps here. Okay. I'm, I'm not sure when this video is going to come out, but I'm film me, but I just recently got done with the storage cells and look at, see, I have all these cute trims in here. I don't know if I want to do the beads on the inside of this, but I can definitely do something like this on some of these pieces. I can make a couple of clusters, maybe. That would be nice. Oh, I like this. This is a piece that I cut up on something. And I, anyways, I just got done with those storage cells and my hands from all the like combos and lock pulling are just aggravated. Just aggravated. See, like that. And then maybe I'll do it up here instead, though, because I want to put pockets in little tuck spots on this. Let's do this one right here. Do I need to go all the way over? Doesn't hurt anything if I do. It's just cute. I mean, like, what's the difference if I do a sticker or something else, right? Should I try to ink that up a little bit? I don't know. All right, let's just put it down. It's junk mail. I mean, like, and j almost everything in here has been free. So, isn't that cool? I mean, time. It takes time. So, I don't know about you, my friends, but I'm still learning about glues. Like, what works on what? Some things I think my, I have the right glue and then it just doesn't stay or it doesn't stay as long as I want it to. Oh, I wonder if I should have went the other way so that part's popping up. Like the little pokies. Yeah, I like that. So like when it's closed, you know, you can see that little bit of a ripped, torn cut, messy cut. Anyways, <laughs> there we go. So I, um, I don't know if I already shared this on part of the auction. It was funny because um, we had a, I had to call. We had, there's vehicles in one of the spots, two of the spots actually. There's like a, but n none of them are drivable. Like you can't drive them off, but they're all like old or whatever. And I thought, and I know nothing about cars. So I um, had to call a reputable towing company because you have to do everything by the book. And so you can't, I can't auction those off. I can only have them towed and then I have to, uh, fill out paper or we have to fill out paperwork the office does and um, we have to send the information to the person that actually owns it where they're at so they have an opportunity to still get it there's like all these things you have to follow anyhow so I called the company and I was like uh, a local company and I said hey um, how do we go about doing this and he's like what do you have and I said well I need to let them know that they can't just like wheel them up there's no wheels so I need to tell them know like what's going on and I said, well, the only way I can describe these vehicles um, that I know how to is I would call it um, vintage junkyard. <laughs> They're like, what? He goes, oh, so it's just a bunch of scrap metal. And I was like, no. Um, you know, so there's me. Here I am in my world of how I, what we do, right? And I'm describing this as vintage junkyard. Well, with some, if somebody said that to me, I know what I would picture. Well, apparently I'm talking to a man and he pictured scrap metal. <laughs> It's like, no, <laughs> vintage junkyard. So I said, well, I don't think I would say, I don't think it's just scrap metal. I go, some of these pieces, I said, here, let me um, describe at least one of them. So one of the pieces is a, um, it's an old truck and it says Ford on it. It's got one of those rounded tops on, rounded hoods. And then this other one, I don't know how to explain it, but I would say it's like old time gangster car, like, uh, like, like the mall, like way back in the, the 20s. I got the wrong era. I think I meant to say 70s, but I got my eras mixed up. But anyhow, and he goes, oh, hold on a second. <laughs> so he came back and he's like, yes, yeah, so we'll come get those. Um, and so it's, and then it's, it's not going to cost us anything, I don't think, to have them towed off. So what they'll do is they'll tow them off and then they'll hold them and then all the right paperwork gets done to the owner. They have an opportunity to come and then get them off from the towing company and pay whatever those fees are for the impound, the towing and impound, or whatever. I don't really know what their rules are, but it has something, something like that. 
So it's kind of like the same process that we did when we um, got rid of all those cars off of our property that we bought at the auction, the, the tax auction. Anyways, so then if the person doesn't claim them or doesn't do it the within the right time frame or however that works, then they get to sell them. They can part them out, scrap them, whatever they want to do. So they just do it for the price. It's not really the price. They do it for the cars is what they say, something like that. So that was kind of nice. Oh, look, I have another piece right there. I wonder if I have another piece of that. Wouldn't that be pretty? Or I can use more different things. I don't have to. It doesn't all have to be the same, lady. It doesn't. Oh, look at this piece right here. So here's one of those little um, cute satiny ones. So this is what I was talking about before. And I, whenever I say that, I always think of, remember, you know at Christmas, you know the angel hair that we'd put on the trees before? You know the stuff that you definitely don't want your animals or your babies to eat? <laughs> do you remember angel hair? Do they still do angel hair? Anyways, that's what it reminds me of. So let me just trim that off. Now, if anybody has a way to keep it from doing that, I would love to hear it because I don't know what it is. I just trim them and hope for the best. I think, I mean, I've done, I have fray check. I can use fray check, but does fray check, does anybody know, does it actually work on this stuff? I guess I could test it out. Um, or will this just drink it? Will it make a like a, like a crispy edge? Which is not a big deal if you are expecting that, but if you're not expecting crispy, then you don't want it, right? I don't know. Maybe you can work with it. Look at all that, but it looks like angel hair to me. That's what it reminds me of, which makes me think of my mom. So I don't know if we ever used angel hair, so I don't know why. Maybe she did it once one year, and I was just like, this stuff's weird. My mom was old school um, tinsel girl, man. I'm telling you, our tree, it was tinsel. And she, she was like, I'm like, why do we put ornaments on there? Because you seriously can't see anything but tinsel. <laughs> she definitely liked the shine. Now, this has got some really nice little folds going on with it. So I'm going to try and do that. And I think I'm going to use this art glitter glue this time because my Fabri-Tac just bleeds right through that. So let's see what I can come up with here. I don't know. Maybe I just used too much glue because I'm pretty heavy-handed. This just sticks so fast, even to fabric, doesn't it? Okay, so. Whoops. I wanted that fold. I watch people do this all the time, and theirs does not look like that. What am I doing wrong? Is it, am I just seeing the, am I seeing the glue or am I seeing the paper? I think I'm, I think it's both. I watch them. They're like, yeah, you just pinch it and you just pinch it. And I'm like, I'm going to go with it. It's junk mail and scraps. Just keep going. Don't give up. Right? It's just like when, uh, when you're designing anything, just don't give up. Just keep going until you like it. And if all else fails, you just give it away because somebody else will like it or they'll know how to fix it. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm okay. I'm liking that. Just stay, please stay. Um, go down. There we go. All right. So I feel like it shouldn't be like fraying down here. Whoops, angel hair. Okay, cute. Now I only have that one piece on right there, but that's okay. You know what? I prefer eclectic look anyways, because then I don't have to, um, I'm not held to anything. I think I'm going to just take that off there. Using my Debbie snips. And um, we'll get that in here like this. So I'll put some glue there and some glue there and just maybe put that together Oops, like that. Just push you down, get down there. And I can always put like a little clip in later on. If I put too much glue, as I've learned in the past, it does make it hard to get those little pins in there. So I can always add glue later. Oops, man, I'm telling you, my hands are like, <laughs> they're just not gonna be my friend right now. 
but that's all right. It's not gonna stop me. I want to still enjoy all my moments. So let's get all this angel hair and put it with this little piece of lace because that's cute already like that. I don't know. And then here's a cute little flower right there. Nope, that's just too much same on same. Let's see what else I have in my little basket. I guess I should share my basket here. Hello. Probably wondering, what are you pulling out of there? We can't help you if we can't see. Oh, okay, so there's a little bit of green. I like that. Okay, so let's do that. And it's just very subtle with the angel here. Like, you have to be up close and personal, but I suppose I'm going to use this glue again. Oh my gosh, I think I'm doing something not so great right here. All right, everybody work together, please. There we go. That's cute. Um, I didn't get my angel hair down in there like I wanted to though, so. All right, we're just gonna go with that for a minute and set that aside, because it's like gluey on that side. Um, well, I guess I could have done this, right? That would have helped, this little scrap. Let's try it. Use up all the pieces. There's a place for them. Just use them. Okay. So far, so good, I think. Goodness. Like, I don't know if I terrify anybody when I'm cutting the way my hands are holding stuff, but sometimes I terrify myself. I'm like, don't worry, you can always edit it out. <laughs> Accidents don't have to be on camera. If, unless it's live, then you kind of, you're kind of stuck. Lordy, I want that down here, so I'm gonna try to put some glue here there we go and I know to use the tweezers but I'm not very good at those either I'm gonna stick that down there and push that down okay I'm gonna grab these tweezers if I haven't glued them together whoops Oh yeah, I'm just gonna be just a different fight. Never mind. <laughs> All right. This, I'm just gonna set it aside and let it dry. I have that on the back. I don't think I need any more of that at this moment. Okay. Lordy. I'm, I must have still have glue on my, oh, I didn't get that in there in time. So I just take my, I'm gonna stomp this down. It's gonna be a loud noise. I'm gonna stomp it down to get the glue down. I have found that to work. Um, and then I have my big giant needle right here. That... My gosh, that just made me go cross-eyed. Okay, I'm gonna stick that down in there for just a second. I'm gonna grab a wet one out. And no, that's not a stainless steel needle, but I just use it to clean out that little thing. And then I clean my needle off right away because I forgot once and I couldn't get it out of my pin cushion. Isn't that isn't that hilarious? I know I'm not the only one. There, now see how easy that went in there? Okay. Now, I like that, okay. And then see my glue, like it's all stiff. Is that okay? Like, I think it's okay. We'll see. So I have one. There's two pages there that doesn't have anything on it. I think those are okay. I did want to make some pockets. I suppose I could use some of those ruffles, but I don't, I think these ruffles are going to look cuter on this one because, just because, I don't know what I'm doing here. Because these ones have the pages that are ripped out, so I just thought, like, wouldn't that be cute? And then when you open your page, you can have a little piece. 
but I don't know that all of them need it, just maybe a couple of them. Each one has a page, but I haven't committed yet on what these pages are gonna do. That's gonna be, isn't that cute? Okay, back and forth, back and forth. I need something on here. See, this is where I need to keep my basket closer to me of the, my friendship share so I can, because I've got so many wonderful things in there that I can just pull that out and use those. Here's, um, these were from Easter. These were the cutoffs when I was making those bunnies and it's actual book page. It's already been glued, when it was glued and folded in half and I just snipped them to make those bunnies. Um, and I thought, you know, it's got a nice, it's not overly thick and heavy. I can use these. And look at it, it's already got a writing side on that one. I think all of them do. Isn't that perfect? So these can just be like little tags I can make to put in here. Let's see. Um, and I used children's, I think it was like a Bible story book that I used on here. <clears throat> Let's grab, let's grab this handy dandy punch here. I like this. Mm, that just flew up and went down my top. Find that right now, those little pokey ends. I don't know about you, but have you ever had those jump down your top and not realize it and something was poking you and you're like, what the heck is happening in there? <laughs> And then I do like to round the ends. I, I just feel like my stuff just always comes, like it always bothers me. Personal preference, but I do like it rounded on the bottom. There we go. So there's, I have one little tag there. Maybe I'll do that with a few of these. Um, and then, so like there's that line there. So it's not perfectly, it's not perfect. So I'm using the longest edge here. Sometimes, so see like this paper wasn't, I, don't, I didn't cut it straight, so that's gonna be, that's gonna be kind of an issue, isn't it? Let's see if that helps. wasn't paying attention to the writing so that one's upside down does it matter I don't I don't know how about this one <laughs> well I have more over there I can always cut if I need to I just threw away my little piece of ribbon. Oh well, I think it's just, it's right there on the floor. I can easily get it in a minute. So that one's upside down. <laughs> and that one, oh, that one didn't get glued. Oh, but it's cute though. Let's just go ahead and glue it because I know that I, I know I'm gonna want it glued shut. I suppose before I glued it, I could have looked at the writing to see what I liked better, but oh, so cute. Oh, I don't want that word. I don't want just that word on there. So now we have these. 
and the writing is cute. This one's upside down, as I keep saying, but I don't know. I just don't know. These are my little sayings right here in this drawer. Um, my many, it's got other things in there, oh, including glue, glue goobers, but let's see. There are some pieces that have been fussy cut. I think that was from my mag. Yep, that's from my magazine. That's kind of cute. It's oversized, but that's all right. Um, let's see. What else do I have in here? That's from wallpaper. That's, I'm not feeling that. This is from a greeting card. I, that's too, way too big. That won't fit. Okay. I don't think these actually go in here. I think I, sometimes I'll grab stuff off, like grab stuff out of my packages when I'm going somewhere in case I want to do some stuff. I don't think you can tell that's a flower without a stem. There's a carrot. I think that's from a book. There's a cute little stem there. That's cute. Um, anyways, I'll grab stuff out and I'll just throw it in a baggie and I'm like, oh, I'll put it away later, which I don't know about you guys, but that never happens here. Never. I mean, I have great intentions. And so do intentions count? Do good intentions count? That's like, it just covers the whole thing. It's not a bad thing, but I don't think it's what I want to do. It's not exactly what I want to do. Um, can I do two things? This has got like other stuff. can layer flowers. I mean, I don't know about you, but the last time I went out in nature, there's like stuff going all over the place and it's not all the same. That I'm not liking how it's together. This has got a little, a little stump of grass here. There's that. Um, do they look too much identical? Yes. I don't know. Okay. So I'll stop. There's a cute little flower there, but that's not quite what I want. Okay. Here's another little thing I cut out here. What about a giant flower head and then a tiny little stem? <laughs> I like that, that's funny. Okay. another little flower here okay that's not too bad I just wanted something with color I think it's a tiny bit not a lot I mean not a lot unless I find something with a lot and I love it then that then it's a, a definite yay to stay okay there's another flower don't know if I love that these don't go in there this is supposed to be just the words and sentiments like this back this this drawer right here can have other things in it, but they're supposed to have sentiments with it. Like, that's not supposed to be in here. Let us live like wild flowers, wild and beautiful and drenched in sun. I don't want this whole strip on there, but like, is that, will that fit? You won't be able to see it on there. Oh, look at that flowers who had among them were Jesus with it. Okay, that's cute. I like that. It's not working. Here's a little word I found in there. Isn't that cute? This is upside down, it's just driving me crazy. You know what, what I could do, maybe, instead of making it a tag, let's see if I can, even though I already rounded that, let's see if I can just make this like a ticket shape. Because then it won't matter, right? We can go any way we want, there. Okay, somebody already was probably saying, just make it a ticket and then you will be fine. You won't even care, nobody will know. There, secrets, my secrets fixed. Okay, now let's see. Thank goodness for sticky fingers. Okay, we have that and we have that. Okay, I like that. 
I like that one. Um, we still need something for this one. Okay. Okay, well, I, let's just get these ones down, I suppose. I was going to see if I need, wanted to put something behind here, but I can't figure it out. Let's just do this. I'm going to also... I'm going to snip off the part of that stem. I'm going to try. We'll see. Can she do it? There we go. And then I feel like I don't have to... Um, Uh-oh, am I going to go to... I don't have to lose that whole bud, right? I can maybe do something with that. I don't know. Did I cut it too far? No, it'll live. So let's see. We want that there. Nope, that's too big. Um, okay, we'll cover the bottom after. Let's just get this down. We know this flower needs to go right here and be on there. So we'll put our stem like right there. So I'll put the thing right there where it says the Israeli, Israelite, Israelite. I can't say it. I can read it. can't say it. And then we'll get this pretty flower down. Oh, uh oh. That row. I don't know. And that one, I didn't get. See that little petal? It's trying to go under. I'm gonna turn this over on the dry part here. Just give it a little smushy. There we go. All right, cute. Um, move that over here for a minute, not there. This one, then I want to put a little thing underneath it. What do I have? I have all kinds of stuff in here. I'm looking in this thing, I guess you wanna see. I'm so sorry. I know I always want to see. Maybe you do. Maybe you don't want to see. Just tell me. Say, no, we don't want to see your junk. Okay, that's just blends right in. I didn't, I don't want to make these too bulky, but um, that's, is that too bulky? That might be a little too bulky. And um, what about... In this bunny, I'm like, I'm going to put all these little scraps here so I use them. And then I'm like, I fiddle around too much. And I'm like, I just don't know what to do. See, there's part of a, a snippet that I tried making once. And but it's blue. But that's a cute little topper thingy. Okay. Here's some of that. It just looks so like precise and I wanted it to be more messy. I think it's going to be this one, even though it's a little bit bulky. So I'll just do a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Just to figure it out. So, like layering, right? That's what I like to do anyways. Um, and this one's like unraveling, kind of like how I am filling. I'm a little filling a little unraveled. Oh, let's just try that. What will happen to this? We don't, I don't know. Maybe somebody else has already done this. I have never, I'm always trying to fix it, but let me unravel this and see. I do like this, but I don't think that's the part that I'm gonna use. It did thin this down a little bit. Okay, I like it. it almost looks like a little fence. Let me see if I can show you what I'm talking about. I don't know if you can see the dimension, the di um, how it, this part braided right here and then that little piece there, like those little tiny garden fences. Okay. And that's moving around. Why? Why wouldn't it? Okay. I think I'm gonna use the art. I mean, this is not art glitter, but this is Fabri-Tac, Fabri-Fix, Fabri. It's Fabri something. Okay. Don't know how much I need yet. 
I like that little bundle at the end there. Maybe just go all the way. I'll just I'll just go ahead and do it. I don't think I had glue down here though. So this does make it difficult sometimes for me when I make these and I put all this bulky stuff on the bottom to stick them in a pocket. Not impossible, it just depends on the pocket. Usually if they have gussets, it's not so hard. I don't know what this one's gonna be. But isn't that cute? So just a cute little tag and then you can write on the back of it. And junk, and just using the junk, the pieces of um, paper that were cutoffs that were, I actually started to throw them away and I was like, what are you doing lady? You know dang well you don't throw anything away. Why, why, why are you doing that? Okay, here's that cute little piece that we made. Um, I don't think it's gonna be a topper. I think it has to be on something and I gotta figure out my angel hair thing here because it's still like crazy. All right, let's do this one real quick. This might be as far as we get and then we'll take a look and see how what we did. But I ended up doing those booklets um, off camera on accident. I thought I was filming and I was not. And then um, I didn't, I just kept going. I was like, well, whatever. <laughs> I'm I've already started it, so let's just keep going. And I figure I can catch you guys up. So if you want to see me how I did it, I can definitely do another one. I have tons of junk mail. And then now I can put this right here, like so. And then this one, make sure I'm doing them the way I want. I want those, I want it to come there. I want those stems to sort of intersect a little bit there. Will overlap, intersect, I don't know. I guess it means two different things. Intersect means they're crossing, right? And then overlapping means they're covering. So it can intersect while it overlaps. There we go. Or I can just overlap like that. <laughs> there we go. Oh my gosh. And this one. So I like this little cute little word. This little tiny, these little tiny pieces that get lost in the shuffle. I don't know if that's gonna make it blend in more. Maybe I should have left it white. I mean, honestly, it would probably be cute it's cute like that, but it, I think it needs like a little thing in the back. Um, let's back into the, back into here. Do I need, I have this cute little piece of crochet lace right here. That one be, could be working. Um, I have, I have this little uh, piece of a cutoff. I think it's actually from this, like I, when I cut this all apart, like I had these little pieces here. But then I think that's just gonna blend right in. I'll, so that won't work. Um, let me see, I have, what do I have? This, this one's just like, this one's more white, so it might pop off a little bit more, but it's too wide. So anyhow, I have this little scrap thing, and then what happens is I get tired of trying to fiddle around, trying to find stuff, and then I just want to get rid of it. These are cute. I love cutting these pieces off and like using them like little crowns and stuff. But let's just cut one of them off and see. Well, here's one that's already a partial for layering, right? All in the name of layering. So we have that. I have this little scrappy do. This little scrappy doo -dah. Um I have that, like that. This little tiny, oh my gosh. I have this tool here. I should try, maybe this will help me, this thing right here. Okay, that's cute. So I'm adding bulk again, but I guess that's part of the layering thing. There's this little piece here, I don't know. Um, do I need this down here too? I don't need the whole thing. This has got like those little squiggles. Do you see what I'm saying? Isn't that cute? I 
I don't know how to lay it on there. How, what, what am I going to want here? Do I just want a piece of it? Do I just want it at the bottom? Do I want it at all? I don't. I think I'm just going to go with this. get enough on there to get it on and then I can come back later to see where it needs to be anything added or there we go that's cute I feel like it does get kind of lost in there but does it matter it doesn't matter right Stop it. Oh my gosh, tiny pieces. It's like you know your hands don't I know my hands don't work, but I'm gonna I'm gonna force them to do the hardest things possible there. And then that gives it a little bit of dimension. And these are cute, whether I sew around them or not. I mean, I don't know if I would sew around the whole thing. I think like where this edge is, where I folded it, that might be cute. Like I have a stitching right there, just a little bit of a stitch. Um, let me see about this one. Where's the fold at? Right here on this side, see? Then I'm gonna get into my little flower. That's okay. I don't really mind that, to be perfectly honest. Okay, so we have those ones. Let's finish this guy so we can go. So I can go to work. I want to just stay here and play, though. Let me see. Where do I want this? Do I want this? Do I want to go, like, sideways or just straight up and down? I cut these out of a, um, one of those magazines or books, you know, that have the brown covers. I can't think of the name of it offhand. Do I have one to look at? Um, I used to until I moved everything around. I have no idea where it's at now, so. Let's see. Do I want something? Look at this. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, let's just do that one, or do I do the pink? No, I think I'm gonna do the peach. I think I'm gonna do the peach. Just like that, and then just one pretty flower that comes out. Maybe I will try inking this one to see. Do I like it to stand out or not? You know, when I was fussy cutting all these out, I thought about how well my hands weren't working before, and I missed doing stuff like that, and I thought, gosh, if somebody could just fussy cut stuff out for me. And I just wonder if I have any friends that are like that, like we still craft and do things, but you're starting to get, maybe maybe you're limited because of different things that are going on with you. Like, I mean, I know that's where it was limiting me, but I really enjoy fussy cutting. Um, my hands aren't always super happy with me, but sometimes they aren't too bad. And when I like fussy cutting all these flowers out, I was just thinking, I wonder if any of my friends would want would like that, like just a little, like a little happy mail with like some cut, just already cut out little pieces. Cause I mean, like literally I can put these in a little thing. I mean, on a little, I can put, cut out things like that thin in a regular envelope and mail it with a regular stamp, even to Canada. So like, which is great because I can send little things like that out with a, with a Canadian stamp and it's, it doesn't cost extra. Like it doesn't cost a fortune to go through the customs. Whoops, no whoops there, sorry. Um, yeah, like that. But I think I need to put this down first, right? So let's get you down here. Do I want it on that side? And then put this right here, and then I have room for something else here. I think that's what I wanna do. Glue stick. Oh, and I just threw another piece of paper down my top. Goodness, let's have a magnet or something in there. Okay. 
thread, thread everywhere. Okay, where was I gonna put that like that? Yep, that's fine. I don't know, I thought I pulled a wet one out. There it is, over there, I'm drenching paper. I don't know that I'm gonna finish this whole thing on a video, but I'm gonna try and make parts of it here and there and then put it together. Um, just because I, I have no plan and this little thing can go on forever. I will have more junk mail that I wanna make. So I think, I think I need to make a playlist for junk mail and then just call it like the junk mail makeover series and then just put everything in there. I know I like to go to playlists. My playlists are kind of mixed up right now. I need to fix them and um, but I do like going to people's playlists to look for things. But sometimes, even in the playlist, it can get confusing if they're not marked. Um, and I don't know why, but um, sometimes I'll do stuff and it's not in the same order. I, I thought maybe it would go by title. Like, if it says the same thing, uh, that it would just, like, how, like, on emails or something like that. How, or, you know, like, when you're doing things, if it has the same word. Like, in my folders on my emails, it's nice for, like, when we're doing the giveaways because I'll call it. Um, I have them named specifically and they're all, all my folders are like giveaway number. So I'll, the number sign. So I have giveaway number and then I have whatever giveaway that is and they line them up in my folders and I can go find them easily if I don't have them in the favorites because I don't need everything in my favorites, but I can find them easily like that. Well, that's a lot of glue for stuff that's not going to make it all the way on there. <laughs> Anyhow, it's just easy. But in the playlist, I don't always find that to be the case. Okay, my flower still kind of blends in, but it's okay. I think this one needs a saying. Let me pick up these little scraps here. This guy, I don't know what to do. Suggestions, my friends. My angel hair is like getting away from me here. I guess it just needs a trim. And no sticky fingers. Put you up there. And then I'm gonna, believe it or not, I'm gonna put those little tiny pieces in that, my, my trim. I'm gonna put them in this, in this little thing here. Okay, let's put that back. I don't need that anymore. I do want a um, saying on this one. Okay, let's see what else we can find in here. That's too big. I need something cute and small and sweet. Um, no. Like there's all those words, so it has to stand out, right? Oh, what about this one? It's too long. It can go sideways. Maybe it needs a butterfly, you say? Is that what somebody's saying? Don't do that, Sandra. Put a butterfly on there. All right, let me grab those. I have all these right here that I never use, these little cutout ones. I wonder if something in here would work. These are for my jelly plate, and this is for my very non... Oh, look at it. It's missing a thing. Oh, there it is right there. Thank goodness. Um, so this is a punch and I also, but I punched out my jelly and it's very, um, textury because I wasn't cleaning my plate. I was like being really, really mean to my plate, but I wanted to get those super cool textures. So I just watched somebody do a conditioning on their plate. So I'm going to be trying that. I think some jelly plate printing is coming up. I keep saying that, but. Got to get my paint section put together. I know once I do that, I'll be all over it. All over it. Here is a cute little butterfly. It's huge, though. Like, why did I put the flower there? Oh, but the butterfly can have a stem. It could be a butterfly flower. Here's some little ones that I did for my jelly prints. Okay, not it. Not it and not it. I have these two little bins here. Um... Sometimes you just need a little extra help, right? Let's see. I 
I don't even know what I'm looking for anymore. I was looking for a word. Then I was looking for a butterfly. Now I'm into something else. These are the... I struggle with these ones a little bit just because they're so big and they don't always... Oh, I like this maybe. Be you. This is small enough. But does it need something behind it? It's words, but... No, I don't think that one's the right one. Anyways, because I inked this up so much and it's so, the white is just like throwing me off on the other ones. If it wasn't so white then around the edge, or if this wasn't so inked or inked, then I would be, it would be easier for me. And I think probably anything I would have done would have been fine. <laughs> I just can't do, I just can't figure it out. Okay. Oh, here we go. I like this. It's like a, it's like a label and a sticker. So like a label. It's a, definitely a sticker. It's like a label and a saying all in all to all in one. Nope, not it either. Jeez. Hope you guys had a year to spend here with me. I'm going to go back to here and just be you. I, I liked it to begin with. I should have just stuck with it. All right. And I'm going to put it, it kind of goes right in there. But, and I want it to be like under this flower just a tiny bit, I think. So it looks like it all goes together. It's not straight. Ooh. Okay. And it's like nothing. Like, like, I don't know that you can really even tell I added anything extra to it, but it's fine. I think if I do a little stitching on this, I'd like that a little bit better. It's a little bit plain. All right. Well, okay, my friends, here we go. This is what I've got together. This is what we did um, together. <laughs> Not a whole lot, but I got my edges inked on here, which I love this little booklet. It's, it's coming together pretty cute. We got some little pieces on the top there. Um, this is definitely taking me a minute to do, but look at these cute little labels or little tags. I just need to add a little bit of stitching to them. Um, I was thinking about adding a word to this one, but I don't really know that it needs it. I think it's cute just like that. I think just a little bit of stitching, but what do you think? I like them. I think they came out really super cute. I hope you enjoyed this little project. Um, I hope you are enjoying this project. Let me know what you think about um, just doing a, like a junk mail makeover series and just making a, a specific playlist just for that kind of thing. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it helps. Does anybody use the playlist? Do they, do you go to them and look for things? I know I do. Sometimes they're helpful. Sometimes they're not. Anyways, with all that, my friends, I hope you enjoy all your moments. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.